Everybody, how are we all doing? And welcome back this morning to a brand new Team of the Season player review. The Calcio either Simming A, whatever you want to call it, Team of the Season got released yesterday. And the first player that we're going to be taking a look at from that Team of the Season is Mero Icardi, 94 rated card. If you do enjoy it, this review, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let me know who else from the Italian League Team of the Season you would like to see me review. But I will say a quick apology this was meant to go out last night. I usually get these reviews out the night that the team of the season gets released but the prices were so expensive that I didn't want to commit to a card but it came down a little bit more overnight and I decided to get this one out first but um, yeah we're going to kick this off now with the basic information for Icardi he's standing at 5 foot and 11 inches tall he's got medium to low work rates 2 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot looking at his base card and top of in game stats 94 rated striker base card he's got 90 pace 96 dribbling 98 shooting 85 passing 90 90 physical and 40 defending and his top 5 in-games, 99 across the board in finishing, reactions, positioning, heading and strength. Also got a few traps and specialities, those are selfish, power header and tries to beat the defensive line. Looking at the team that we used to be in, it's actually a Premier League team with the card is slotted in there with the Argentinians around him. So we've got Aguero, Lanzini and Roberto Pereira. But the Cardi in the five games that we played with a couple of very early disconnects as well, it's got to be said he caused a couple of rage quits came away with a very decent return of eight goals in the five games that we played. But now, we'll start to roll the clips of him in action, and this card, lads, was an absolute joy to use. He's finishing and he's shooting, I'm going to say, straight off the bat, but absolutely incredible. I mean, you, you could say you expect it because he's got 99 finishing, obviously 98 shooting, but I cannot stress enough how good this guy's finishing is when he gets when he gets in and around the box. He's only really got one negative, and that is, that is the fact that he's only got the two-star skill moves. That is way less than ideal, obviously. I'm, I always say any attacker, really, you want them to be having four-star skill moves at least for them to be uh, very, very effective. But apart from that, he's absolutely sensational. Weak foot being four-star is also incredible. Can finish on either foot in and around the box. Finesse shots in particular were absolutely lethal with this guy. That physical is also something you can really feel with the card. It feels incredibly strong, able to body off defenders constantly. And I'm not just talking weak defenders. I mean, Icardi for me was bodying off the locks of Boateng, Smalling, Ramos felt incredibly, incredibly strong. Link up play was also absolutely fantastic when he gets in that sort of final third. I don't think he's the kind of card that's going to run around the entire defence and slot one in, but he is the kind of player that can hold it up, play a little give and go with the camel, his, uh, his strike partner, and then get himself in on goal. And for that reason, I would say, I think to get the most out of him, you want him in a formation where he's got support in and around him in close proximity, so like a 4-3-2-1 or two at the top formation, something like that. So I do think he flourished a lot in this 4-3-1-2 setup. Another thing that I'm going to talk about that I don't often mention in player reviews is this guy's first touch. It didn't feel incredible, but it always felt like it was enough to be able to get the shot away really quickly. And that might sound daft, but you'll see what I mean in a couple of the goals where his first touch didn't seem fantastic, but it always seemed to lead to, to a fantastic finish. So that's kind of his finishing being amazing but also his first touch just always seemed to be absolutely perfect even though it didn't sometimes seem that way which might seem kind of confusing but I'm sure you guys know what I mean but uh, this player review we're going to give Icardi a 9.4 out of 10 incredible incredible card currently going on Xbox around a 400k mark and he's a very but like you're not going to find many more clinical players than this Icardi card in my opinion Icardi card that sounds kind of strange but yeah this card is absolutely insane finishing is ridiculous pace is absolutely fantastic really nice upgrade from his regular card, something that you can really feel. Skill moves are obviously the major, major dance but if you can get past those, like I say, great finishing, dribbling, incredibly strong, great weak foot, first touch and link up player, also absolutely sublime, so a fantastic, fantastic card. Highly, highly recommend him, and I'd love to hear it in the comments section down below if you happen to have used him or packed him, what you think of him as well, but that is going to end up the player review. Like I said, start leaving the, leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. I'll speak to all in another review later on today. Need you out. 